We're now going to meet Martin, who's a patient of Advanced Pain Medicine Institute. Welcome, Martin. Good afternoon, sir. It's our pleasure to have you on. We always appreciate it when patients take the time and the drive to come down and, and meet us here and have a few minutes to share your experiences with us. It's invaluable for the other chronic pain sufferers that are out there. And I want to start right off the bat by asking you, Martin, what exactly did, as far as the pain, where was it and what type of pain were you experiencing? The pain I was experiencing was in my back going down to my left leg. I could hardly walk. You mean it affected you from even walking? Yes, sir, it did. Are you talking decent distances or you couldn't even walk 10 yards or 20 yards without the pain? If I try to walk, I, the pain got so bad, like a 10, I, you know, I had to stop and catch my breath. That's how, that's how severe it was. And how did you develop that type of a pain? Do you know? Yes, sir. I got hit by a truck, hit and run. Oh, my God. Uh, how long ago was this? 92, sir. It's been many years. Yeah. So you, I take it the, the chronic pain developed after that? And, right. And I, you suffered for that for many years? For many years. Yes, sir. You're right. Now, what did you have done to eliminate this pain? I mean, obviously, you, I'm sure you took medications in the past, and I take it, did you, have, did you have a surgical procedure as well in the past with other doctors? The first one, my neurosurgeon did. It was back on my lower back. My second one, for my orthopedic doctor, he did a spinal fusion on my back. Oh, okay. It didn't help me out at all. But once I got the implant in my back, it changed my life completely because I'm almost back to my normal self. So then, in other words, when you came here to Dr. Gravani, you basically had the spinal cord stimulator implant uh, option. Is that what happened? Because the others weren't successful from the other medical organizations with the surgical procedures that you had undergone. I yes, sir, that is right. 100% right. Was it instant pain relief or was it something you felt better uh, over a few weeks or what happened after the device? Once he put it in, I noticed after four days, I could walk, no problem. After only four days, you were walking without pain after years of walking in pain? Yes, sir. Listen, it sounds like you're certainly back to normal, as much as certainly one can be based on what you had experienced many years back. Yes, sir. And it certainly seems like you're very pleased now. I and am. enjoying life again. Yes, sir, I am. I will say that. I'm enjoying life to a 10. <laughs> I really appreciate you coming down again, Martin, and sharing your experiences. And on that note, thank you also for being a guest on A New Me. Okay, you're welcome, sir. It's my pleasure meeting you, meeting you as a gentleman. I oh, appreciate that. We're now back with Dr. Gorbani. I must say, Martin seemed very pleased. Well, Martin is among uh, many patients who have received a spinal cord uh, uh, stimulator implant, and their life has changed overnight. Now, I wanted to ask you, Dr. Gorbani, uh, does a patient have to continue to keep that that particular implant uh, throughout their life or just for, uh, is it, I know it varies depending on when the patient starts feeling better and does it get to the point where the patient can then not have to need the device or what are we looking at here? Well, the beauty of this device is it's a reversible process. If you have back surgery, there is no going back and putting things the way they were. That's right. With the spinal cord stimulator, this device can be turned off like you never had it before or for whatever reason, if you want to remove it, you can remove this device. It um, um, uh, takes about an hour in a day surgery procedure with no complications afterwards. Um, there are many different generators, different kinds, and the most uh, used uh, um, by us is the battery-powered rechargeable generator. Um, depending on how often they turn the machine on or off, they could have it charge every six weeks to uh, two months. It's a little external device that they place it uh, over the um, stimulator. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour, and it gets charged. And after every uh, 10 years, the device needs to be taken out and be placed back in. And we're only talking about the generator, not the leads in the spinal cord. And it's a 20-minute uh, procedure. Well, from what you've told us here thus far today, certainly sounds like there are multiple benefits associated with this device. Exactly. There are many benefits associated with this from uh, cost effectiveness, which is very cost effective. Um, patients, after having this uh, device placed in, may not need to have use of any medications um, or having any other interventional procedures or surgery. 
um, as well as uh, the cost of having this procedure done is much less than having another reoperation, and um, and also the quality of life, which is one of the most important things for the patient, is improved. The amount of medication that's been taking is less, and they get literally their life back that they haven't had for quite a long time. Now we've only got a few moments left, Dr. Gorbani, and I wanted to ask you before I let you go today if you have any final thoughts that you'd like to share with our viewers. If one has back surgery already and they're left with chronic pain after the surgery and they're not a candidate for any, another surgery or they don't want to have another surgery, um, we have a device now called spinal cord stimulator, very similar to a pacemaker. We call it pacemaker for pain. And this device can change your life overnight. There's always hope. Unfortunately, people with chronic pain, um, they feel so depressed and uh, basically giving up. Um, and we want to make sure that they know that there is options out there for them. Um, the, with the advances of technology and uh, surgical techniques, um, we have come a long way to improve patients' quality of life with this little device called Pacemaker for Pain. Well, I certainly like that nickname that it has. And on that note, I'd like to thank you, Dr. Gorbani, for joining us. And you certainly enlightened us, uh, for many of us out there who suffer from chronic pain, about a very effective option. And on that note, I'd like to thank you again for thank being you a guest. For, thank you for having me. Our pleasure.